biofilm, a thin, slimy film of bacteria that adheres to a surface. Biofilm is all over the surfaces of your home, and today we are going to look at four different methods for cleaning or removing biofilm from the surfaces in your home, and we're going to measure it with a scientific testing method called ATP testing using this device that you see here. ATP testing measures proteins both alive and dead, so it's a great way to measure the actual cleanliness of a surface. So what we're gonna to do today is actually create some biofilm by taking raw hamburger and rubbing it onto this countertop in four different areas. And then we're going to actually clean that biofilm off or at least attempt to and measure each one before and after to give you an idea of the effectiveness of these four different types of cleaning methods for removing biofilm from a surface. Our four contestants today in the biofilm bonanza are a standard cotton cloth, followed by Lysol disinfecting spray with a standard cotton cloth. And then we're gonna take a look at disinfecting wipes from Clorox. And finally, a Moja fiber cloth from Moja Works. Our first contestant is a standard cotton cloth. First, we create the biofilm, and then we take a standard swab that is used with the ATP tester, swab the area very thoroughly, and place it back into the tube then we break the tip that contains the testing solution and squeeze that down into the bottom where the swab is and uh, shake that up a little bit and we place it into the ATP tester. Then we press the OK button and wait for about 15 seconds while the test is being run. At the end of this test, we'll see that we get a reading of 172 which means the area is very contaminated. And then I wipe the area very thoroughly with a damp cotton cloth. Then I take another swab, swab the area very thoroughly, uh, place it back into the tube and uh, break the tip, squeeze the solution in, shake the uh, swab up and place it into the ATP tester and uh, then I hit the OK button, and uh, let's see what reading we get here after using the cotton cloth. And the cloth gave us a reading of 43, which is actually pretty good for a cotton cloth. But according to the manufacturer of this instrument, anything over a 30 is a fail. Anything under a 10 is a pass. Keep that in mind as we proceed through the tests. Our second contestant is a disinfectant spray with a cotton cloth. So we repeat the testing process here again after uh, creating the biofilm by swabbing the area with a swab, placing it back into the tube, squeezing the solution in and shaking it around, then placing it into the tester and waiting the uh, 15 seconds for the test to run. And we get a reading of 129. So then I take some Lysol disinfecting spray and spray the area thoroughly and wait the requisite time and then wipe the area thoroughly with a cotton cloth. And repeat the testing process by swabbing the area thoroughly, placing it back into the tube, breaking the tip and squeezing the solution into the tube. Then I shake it up a little bit and place it back into the tester and press the OK button and wait the 15 seconds for the test to run. And we get a reading of 76. Our third contestant is the Clorox sanitizing wipes. So I first I create the biofilm and uh, then test the area to see what damage was done. And place the swab back into the tube, break the tip and squeeze the solution down in there and then shake the uh, unit around and then place it into the testing unit. Close the lid and press OK. And wait the 15 seconds for the test to run and we get a reading of 170. Then we take the Clorox wipes and wipe the area very thoroughly and run the testing process again. So we swab the countertop and place the swab into the tube, break the tip and squeeze the solution into the bottom, shake it up, and place it into the testing unit. Close the lid and press OK. And 
wait the 15 seconds, and we get a reading of 125, which is a major fail. Contestant number four is the Moja fiber cloth and water. Create the biofilm. Test the area with the swab. Place the swab into the tube and break the tip. Squeeze the solution into the bottom and then shake the swab up and place it into the testing unit. Close the top and press OK. And after waiting 15 seconds, we see that we get a reading of 215, which is actually the most contaminated area of all. So then I take a Moja fiber cloth that is damp with warm water from the tap and wipe the area thoroughly and then retest. Swab the area, place the swab into the tube, squeeze the top, shake it up, place it into the testing unit, close the lid, press OK, and wait the 15 seconds to see how the Moja fiber cloth compares to these other methods of cleaning. And we get a reading of six which is definitely a pass and shows and demonstrates just how effective a Moja fiber cloth can be at cleaning the surfaces in your home. Thank you for joining us for this test today. I hope it was eye-opening for you. If you'd like to learn more about the Moja Works opportunity and Moja Works line of products, please visit mojaworks.com.